All right, so guys, this is how I chop my um, okra. Okra, the texture of okra, I don't like it. So it has to be really small before I can eat it when I cook it. And when I cook it too, I have to cook it for a while for it to be really, really soft before I can eat it. So this is how I chop it. cannot chop it fast like this take your time I don't want you to cut your finger off okay so you see so it's really small like this this is how I chop them and then this is all my okra this is all the okra here that I've chopped is a lot so I'm gonna make it and then put some in the freezer for whenever we are ready to you eat and then we just eat so yeah this is how it is I'm about to cook it guys look you see now it's really I told you if you don't watch it the crow is very stubborn okay so if you don't watch it it's gonna go everywhere and it's very hard to clean because it's slimy so it will go everywhere and you wouldn't want that honestly you really wouldn't want that so this is it yeah this is it this is it. for me to clean and i'm done so i clean as i go so you see it was a mess before and now i've cleaned everything because i i can't once i sit down i want to sit you see look look at the okra if i don't keep staring at it it's going to go everywhere and I wouldn't want that. But it's almost done. It's almost done. I'm just going to do this for like two minutes and then I'll turn it off and start the sauce, the okra, the stew or whatever you want to call it. The sauce, the stew, you know, to put the okra in. So, yeah. So, I'm about to start the okra stew. So, this is my palm oil. Again, I got this from the African market. So, palm oil. It says Zumi. Zumi. So you go to the African market. That's the only place I know they can sell it. They sell it. So palm oil. And then it's here. Then I'm just going to let this melt like that. And then I will just put my onions in. My onions, my pepper, and my tomato sauce. And I will add water. Just a little bit of water. And then I will just leave it on for about 30 to... 30 to 45 minutes and then I will add all my meats and my spices and then I'll add the okra to it so it really doesn't take long it's not much to it it's just you know you making a stew and then cooking the okra and putting it in so I'll show you let's go so my onion are going and my pepper again I got it from the African market I don't measure anything y'all I like spicy stuff and my kids like spicy stuff so I just eyeball it and then that's it you see it's in there if you like spicy then you add more but if not just add a little bit if you don't like spicy stuff then don't add it at all adding pepper is up to you how you want it and then just like that because this is how I like my onions I don't want my onions to cook all the way through I just um and then when I'm doing the the sauce this is it I use the big can of the of this tomato sauce I just use a, the big one one of the big one and then that's it sometimes it depends on and you're gonna see the water that I'm gonna add put it in the water that I'm gonna add is me rinsing this yeah what do you know about this see me rinsing this and then so this is about it just a little okay and then that's it and then um, I'm turning this off and then I'll stare so that is all it is Honestly, this is this is it. When this finish and you add your meat to it, then that's it. 
that's it you add your meat then you add your spices or whatever you want to add to it your fish your tilapia your whatever goat meat you can add your goat meat to this and then when you finish you just add your okra to it and then eliana now and then that's it so yeah i'm gonna let this cook for 30 to 30 to 45 minutes and then i will come back in there too all right guys i'm back it's been several hours i've been taking care of people i went on live on tiktok i'll tell you more about the live in a little bit so i paused it and i'm back i want to finish this okra before tomorrow because i have a lot to do tomorrow um so yeah this is my fresh uh tilapia i did not cook it yet normally when i cook it is when i put it in after everything is said and done but this is raw so i just put it in here literally it takes like five minutes by the time i finish feeding malachi this fish will be done and i could just add my okra i add my seasonings to it so it's good seasoning spice spices whichever one you want to call it is fine um whatever that you're going to use to cook add it to give it a little flavor or whatever you know to taste so i don't have salt in it yet because of the seasoning so when i add the okra and then i need more salt i will add it you can always add more salt but you cannot take away all right if it's too much so yeah i'm gonna leave this here and i'm gonna go run and feed baby boy because it's 9 35 it's about his bedtime and then we'll come back and add the okra to it but look, look, it's gonna break, you see? Look, you see? So right now it's done. So all I'm gonna do is just put the okra in here. It's breaking, you see? It's breaking. I can't do it with one hand, so I'll be back. So this is it. It is 10, 10. 10, 10, and I'm now finishing my okra. So this is it. And then I'm just gonna stir and add everything. For some reason I like it being slimy like this. You have no idea. This is how you make okra stew or soup or whatever you want to call it. But we are going to eat it with banku or kinky. Alright, go for you. <laughs> so you see, everything is now mixed. And now look, my fish, you see, look, this is a piece of the fish. So... I think I'm gonna add the shrimp to it tomorrow. But yeah, this is it. Okra stew is done, y'all. Bon appetit, okra stew.